you regret at all all the lying you've done to the American people? A White House reporter asked Trump why he's a big fat liar. Or uh, <laughs> more specifically, asked Trump if he regrets lying so goddamn much. Now, this, uh, let me show you the clip first, as it is, it, as it is very entertaining. Um, but also, Trump's reaction to it, I think, tells us something as well. But uh, check this out. President, after three and a half years, do you regret at all all the lying you've done to the American people? On all everything? the what? All the lying, all the dishonesties. That who has done? You have done. Uh, Tens of thousands. Yeah, go ahead, please. Please. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I wanted to ask about the payroll tax. All right. <laughs> you can see there. Um, Donald Trump had absolutely no interest in answering that question. But it also goes to show you, look, if he didn't think he was a liar, like, let's let's take him out and put someone else in there who is somebody who lies at least less. <laughs> I know you look, every president lies at some point. But Trump, he lies about everything. Anybody in that position who doesn't view themselves as a liar, they would have an answer to that question. They would either say, like, what are you talking about? Give me some examples. Are you crazy? Like, how did I lie? Tell me. Trump knows he's a big fat liar. So he just ignores the question <laughs> and moves on. And uh, there was a, a follow-up tweet here from the reporter. This is a HuffPost White House reporter that asked the question. As he, uh, uh dot or uh, dot. I'm not sure how to say his last name. Um, but SV here tweeting out. Uh, for five years, I've been waiting or wanting to ask him that. <laughs> so uh, finally got his opportunity. And to give you an example of Trump's off-the-wall lying, this was a lie during that same press conference that he told. Can't, can't understand the word you're saying. There are claims circulating in social media that Kamala Harris is not eligible to be to run for vice president because she was an anchor baby, I hope. Do you or can you definitively say whether or not Kamala Harris is eligible, legal, meets the legal requirements to run as vice president? So I just heard that. I heard it today that she doesn't meet the requirements. Uh, and by the way, the lawyer that wrote that piece is a very highly qualified, very talented lawyer. I have no idea if that's right. I would have th I would have assumed the Democrats would have checked that out before she gets chosen to run for vice president. But that's a very serious. You're, you're saying that they're saying that she doesn't qualify because she wasn't born in this country. There you go. Look, there is lying, and then there is birtherism. I mean, the the thing with the birtherism as well. Donald Trump actually had to end up apologizing, or I'm not sure if he had to, but he ended up apologizing back in uh, 2015 about the Obama birtherism. Um, actually, in fact, apology is the wrong word. I think he just uh, came out and had a press conference and said, you know, there's nothing to it, uh, essentially. So to then go back and use this tactic now against Kamala Harris, which obviously is racist. There's no other reason for him to, 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 to discuss this. It's obviously racist. He should have rejected it outright. But no, he's going to continue discussing how this, you know, sounds, sounds very serious, maybe a serious issue. They should have checked it out first. There's no Kamala Harris was born in the U.S. This whole thing is ridiculous. Um, but for him to try and use this tactic now after it failed in in the 2016 election, or at least he, he felt it was not benefiting him uh, enough to the point that he actually came out and said it wasn't real. Uh, I mean, he's really running out of ideas here. <laughs> like he's, They have nothing to work with. After I... Uh, uh, covered the uh, the VP uh, announcement. I did a separate video discussing the conservative reaction to it because there are, of course, legitimate criticisms of Kamala Harris's record, of course. But those criticisms are not coming from the right. They have nothing to work with. They are both trying to call her too far left and too far right. They're saying, oh, she's, too f she's part of the radical left. Trump called her one of the most liberal senators, which is just not true. But then at the same time, the Trump White House is also saying that Kamala Harris had a, a, a racist history as a prosecutor. Well, like, which is it? Is she too far left or is she too far right? Or, you know, was she not born in this country? Like, they're, they're trying absolutely everything and they have nothing to work with. But this is the result of a president that, you know, lies all the time. And just to give you an idea here, I mean, there's 
there's several counts um, <laughs> of people that have kept track of this. That would be the worst job in the world, by the way, to try and keep track of uh, Trump's lies. But here it's from The Guardian. They say that in July, The Washington Post reported that Trump had told more than 20,000 false or misleading claims over the course of his presidency. Now, again, yes, every politician lies, every single one. Um, but 20,000. <laughs> and you know Trump's lies uh, are unique in, uh, in his ability to, to find new ways to lie every single day. So I just found this moment to be uh, amusing, and I think Trump is, is fully aware that he is a big, fat liar.